you still keep dying and you still have bad aim and still lose the game nothing is working they ask you how you are you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine <laughs> For those who do not know me, my name is Jay, and I've been playing Arsenal since 2018 on and off, and gained level 600 something, almost 700, but it doesn't really matter, because you can be the highest level Arsenal player, but still have bad aim. So my last video went well thanks to you guys, so now I made a part 2. And if you haven't watched the video yet, do check it out because that video covers the fundamentals of how to become a better player in Arsenal, and FPS games in general. So the sequel video or for those who just finished my video but still can't progress or for those who already know a few things about the game but have reached a bottleneck before i continue on to the advanced tips here are the two basics that i haven't mentioned in the last video so number one switching to your melee to move faster so for those new to the game you can easily switch to your melee by pressing q on your keyboard this will help you traverse faster around the map and pair that with strafing, like I mentioned in the last video, will annoy your enemies. Why? Because you're fast and hard to hit. Number two, using the weapon's knockback to propel yourself. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, basically you jump and while midair, explode your feet. What? Yes. Sounds strange, but hear me out. Most cannons and shotguns and snipers in the game, if you shoot downwards, the weapon's knockback will propel you upwards. So this is a good method to traverse long distances in the game or to climb certain areas in the game. So a good way to practice this is by going to concussion mania matches. And a lot of people still don't notice but you can join specific game modes you prefer in Arsenal by just going to the main menu and clicking the server list so as you can see there's a game mode here and the other settings basically just set that to concussion mania and click the find servers button here and as you can see there's a lot of servers that have concussion mania on and it shows the ping the region it's pretty convenient you're welcome and now that's out of the way the last three i'm about to cover are the bread and butter of being a pro in arsenal these are the things that will set you above the average Arsenal player. So number three, as Sun Tzu said, every battle is won before it is fought. So when you have a good map sense and placed your crosshair beforehand, it will make it so much faster to kill your enemies when they show up on the blind spots. So what is crosshair placement you might ask? Well, crosshair placement is basically placing your crosshair on the blind spots of the walls so that when an enemy shows up, you can kill them more faster. So avoid placing your crosshair at the floor or at the enemy's feet because there is no recoil in Arsenal. So placing it at their feet takes more time to kill them and will put you at a disadvantage. So a good way to practice this is consciously putting your crosshair at the head height so that as you can see, I have less time to adjust my aim to their head. So it's much more faster to kill them. So if you observe like really good players like Tanker, Bandites, Fusion Boys, and I can name a few more pros, they all have excellent crosshair placement. And pair that with a good map sense, this is gonna make you a pro. And number four, resetting your bullet spread. Since Arsenal has no recoil, this makes it so much more easier to aim in the game. Why? Because you don't have to move your mouse downwards to control the recoil when you shoot. And all you have to worry about is the bullet spread. So what is bullet spread? Basically, when you shoot a gun consecutively, your crosshair widens and the accuracy of your bullets reduces. Don't just spray and pray like most people do. So take cover, stop shooting to reset your crosshair and place your crosshair properly and shoot again. And mastering this is also the key to having headshots and one shot at enemies casually like it's none of your business. And last but definitely not the least, isolating the battle. So how is John Wick able to kill hundreds and hundreds of mobs and survive? Well obviously because he's John Wick, but notice how he also tries his best to isolate the battle. 
putting himself in one versus one situations. He does this by utilizing all of his surroundings to use as a cover, even the bodies of his enemies. See how John Wick walks up to the stairs? He doesn't just go out in the open. Why? Because there's three guys against him. So what he does is take cover and wait for the guy to be on his line of sight. And boom, he's dead. And he takes a peek. Then boom, second guy dead. And you can see how John Wick utilizes covers to increase his survivability. All right, so the point here is to use your environment as much as possible. This will help increase your survivability in one versus many situations. Yes, even a small pole or a tree trunk matters, right? And the ideal game mode for this is free for all. Free for all is basically four teams that you can join, which also means you have three different enemies on different sides, all right? So you're more likely to be cornered and to put yourself in that kind of scenario. But if you're just in a normal two team match, what you can do is just memorize the enemy's spawn points and go there before all your teammate does so that you can put yourself in a one versus many situation. At first, you're gonna keep dying. Like, a lot. Alright, but over time, you'll be killing hordes and hordes of enemies just like John Wick. I once saw him kill three men in a bar with a bouncer. With a fucking... So, if any of these tips help you out, please do leave a like as it took a lot of effort making this video. And if you want more content like this, click subscribe and hit the notification bell so that when I post any new content that might be helpful for you in the future, you'll stay notified. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.